the Nihon Kodin NKV440 ventilator system is intended to provide continuous ventilation for adult, pediatric, and neonatal patients who require invasive or non-invasive respiratory support. The main system is comprised of two components, the graphic user interface and the breath delivery unit. On the top of the ventilator is the 12.1 inch graphical user interface referred to as the GUI. Clinicians interact with the GUI both through the touch interface and the encoder knob. A large alarm indicator provides 360 degree visibility. Below the GUI are LEDs that indicate power on off, AC power connected, and battery charging status. The GUI is tiltable for ease in viewing and may be folded down when the ventilator is not in use. On the front of the breath delivery unit is the pneumatic nebulizer port, the inspiratory port, the expiratory port, and two connectors for the Nihon Kodin CO2 and SpO2 sensors. On the left side of the ventilator is the Ethernet port, the nurse call port, the RS-232 port, two USB ports which are used for powering the Aerogen nebulizer, downloading of data such as event logs, trends, or screenshots, and for upgrading software. The final connector is the Nihon Kodin serial data interface port. Below the connectors is the extended battery which can be easily removed by pressing down on the battery latch and sliding the battery out. On the right side of the ventilator is the power on off switch and the air intake for the blower. Air going to the internal blower first passes through a dust filter, then through a HEPA filter prior to entering the blower. The dust filter and HEPA filter are situated behind the air inlet cover. At the rear of the ventilator are the high pressure and low pressure oxygen inlet ports, the cover for the cooling fan filter, and the AC power cord connector. Since the NKV440 incorporates a built-in blower to provide the air source, there is no air inlet port. When the ventilator is powered on, the startup screen will be displayed. On the startup screen, the clinician selects the patient type and the therapy type. Clinicians can also perform a circuit check or device check. On-screen instructions guide the clinician step-by-step -step through the testing process. Clinicians can also set ventilation controls and alarm limits prior to starting ventilation. To adjust a ventilator control, the clinician selects the control to be changed, uses the encoder to adjust the setting, then presses the encoder to confirm the setting. When ready to begin ventilation, clinicians press the Start Ventilation button. The GUI is divided into seven sections. The status bar area contains icons to communicate the battery status, any alarm limits that are currently set to off, any sensors such as SpO2 or CO2 that a clinician has disabled, any preventive maintenance that is currently due, the therapy type and breath indicator, and the patient data entry whereby if data is entered, allows for calculation and display of patient body weight. The alarms area contains the audio pause button, the user adjustable alarm settings button, and the alarm messages area. When setting an alarm, the clinician presses the alarm settings button, selects the alarm for adjustment, makes the adjustment with the encoder knob, then confirms the adjustment by pressing the encoder knob. Next is the waveforms area. Clinicians can select which waveforms or loops to display and also their scaling. In the numerics area, clinicians can configure which monitored parameters are displayed and their layout. The apps area provides access to programs designed to assist clinicians in the care of their ventilated patients, such as open or inline suctioning, lung recruitment tools, weaning measures such as spontaneous breathing trial, and the standby function. Selecting an app opens the app dialog box. On-screen instructions guide the clinician in the use of each app. Next is the modes and primary controls area. To change the mode, the clinician touches the mode button to open the ventilation settings dialog box. The clinician selects the new mode, pre-adjusts the ventilation control settings, then presses the apply all button to initiate the new mode. Additional ventilation controls can be accessed by the expansion button. The quick access area provides buttons that allow clinicians to navigate to the home screen, lock or unlock the GUI, 
provide elevated oxygen, deliver a manual breath, perform an inspiratory or expiratory hold maneuver, adjust the screen brightness, and access on-screen help. This concludes the introduction to the NKV 440 ventilator.